So I'm just going to quickly go over something I flashed today. Uh, if you haven't heard, the UK is getting a pretty awesome phone that's a lot like the Evo. It's called the Desire or HTC Desire HD. Uh, it's a four inch screen and everything. It pretty much looks exactly like this, but one of the coolest things about it is that it has the new um, Sense. Uh, I can't remember exactly what version it is, but uh, they have the new Sense on there, which is actually uh, better than the one we have here because it features a ton of awesome new little uh, tweaks and fixes and uh, just cool new stuff. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what it's all about and uh, just kind of go over some of the new stuff. The lock screen and stuff looks a little bit different right now because I actually put uh, one of the custom themes that they have on here, but uh, I'm going to show you guys that in a minute. Uh, this is actually the HTC's background here, but um, the flip clock, it does flip now, so uh, that's one of the cool new little things from that. I think it's really cool that they brought it back. Yay! And uh, tons of new stuff like uh, widgets and uh, just cool, cool stuff. I'm going to show you guys the, the my favorite part right here is... Uh, normally you have your apps down here, you have your phone, and then you have add uh, a widget, which you don't really need to do because you can just long press to do that. But um, now you just click this and it brings you to your, well I guess it's technically still add your widgets, but you can add all kinds of stuff too. So if we go to skin here, this is probably my favorite coolest little thing on here, is the fact now that they have these new HTC skins. Uh, the one that I'm currently running is called Slate. This reminds me of um, a lot of themes that people have been doing on just stock Android or CM6 or the Cyan Engine ROMs and stuff like that. Um, this one looks very minimal. Uh, it has a nice flat look to it, uh, nice sharp edges and stuff. This one's kind of like a wood grain uh, look to it. So they took a lot of stuff from, I guess, the Espresso as far as theming themes and stuff go. But um, it's cool because they change not just the uh i guess the some of the colors and like the effects but they also change like the way uh the lock screen looks and stuff um which i think is neat this one has a little curved look uh this is the traditional regular HTC Sense one uh this one's kind of cool it has like the espresso uh dock there at the bottom um and also it has a cool little uh transparent uh notification tray up there at the top so i'm going to go ahead and check out I'm going to check out this one because this was actually one of my favorites as well, so we're going to apply the metal theme. And this one gives it a cool, kind of like a brushed aluminum look to it. Might be kind of hard to see here on the video, but um, yeah, a brushed aluminum look. And then some of the widgets and stuff change as well. So the flip clock always changes according to the theme. You can see here there's kind of like an indentation here, and then it's brushed aluminum in the background. Uh, if I were to add a widget like, say... Um, Let's go with a friend stream or something. Nice big one. Select. And that's our friend stream widget. And you can see here it uh, changes accordingly to match the skin or theme that we have going on. Uh, a small thing that I like that they changed is actually these transitions. So if I were to go into, like, say, my messages, and if I go back to the home screen, you'll notice it just kind of fades into it. Uh, the thing I didn't like about Sense on the Evo before was the fact that it didn't have that. It just would just snap back and it, it wouldn't even have any transition. And the few transitions it would have would be maybe when you're inside of an app and it would have the sliding transition, uh, which is just basically from vanilla stock Android. And I didn't really care for that one too much. And I thought it was kind of weird that they just kind of left that out, but uh, go figure. Oh, the notification pull down. Well, the bar changes, first of all, and now they have your uh, most used apps here, or your most recent apps, which I think is really neat because no matter it, what app that you're in, you can easily switch between um, just whatever uh, you were just you were just running, which is, I think is really, really cool. So now you almost, like, it, it minimizes the use that you even have to go to the home screen and flip and look around for stuff. So uh, once again, HTC is just doing whatever they can to kind of help um, simplify and make Android better. And I think that they're doing a really, really great job with it. And um, it's very commendable, very commendable, HTC. I, I like what you're doing. Uh, some of the other new stuff, let's see here. There's um, a couple of settings have changed. There's this weird power saver thing here. Uh, turn power saver on at a certain amount of time. Enable power saver. Automatically restrict power use when your phone's battery is low, which can help save your battery. So they kind of have taken into account the fact that uh, with all these new phones coming out, some of the battery batteries are actually not even getting bigger. The batteries in them are actually getting smaller, which is kind of weird. And people are getting kind of freaked out seeing how the Evo had, uh, in the beginning anyway, they had about four hours of battery life. And now it's jumped up to about eight or nine hours. 
Uh, I haven't tested this ROM out all day, so I'm not really sure. I haven't tried any of this stuff, but you can turn off Bluetooth, turn off Wi-Fi, and all this stuff once your uh, battery drops below a certain point, which I think is really neat. Uh, screen brightness also. Just awesome stuff. I feel like this is turning a, a more and more into like a computer or a laptop or something because my, my notebook actually does a lot of this a lot of these features and stuff that they have on here, power saver mode and all that fun stuff. Uh, I think this one does add DLNA support, but um, I'm not too positive. I know that was one of their new features is, is as far as the new sense. Uh, the new sense also, if I were to go through the setup wizard, I don't know if it'll let me go through it again, but uh, it does allow me to set up an account with htcsense.com. Uh, they also have this weird little transfer data thing. Uh, which will actually transfer the data, like your contacts and stuff, from an, your old phone via Bluetooth. Uh, kind of cool, HTC. You guys are really on top of things. I think it's awesome. Uh, just kind of simplifying and making things a lot easier for everyone. Um, let me see what else they have here. Uh, just trying to go through this quickly. Um, oh, uh, Android 2.2, just stock vanilla, is supposed to uh, sync all your data, your like your Wi-Fi settings, uh, your apps and stuff to the market so that whenever you get a new phone or you flash something new, it's supposed to re-download all those apps and all those settings and stuff. It didn't do it once um, Sense got uh, upgraded to Android 2.2. That feature was kind of left out, and I thought it was really weird and odd that they would leave it out, but they did bring it back into this one. Once I flashed this ROM and uh, everything, it actually started re-downloading a bunch of uh, all my old apps that I had installed back on um, uh, CM6, which was Android 2.2, which also syncs with your Google account, syncs your apps and stuff to that too. Uh, and I think that's really, really cool that they brought it back. Those transitions are pretty amazing. Let's see the music player. Uh, everything will be themed to match the theme. It's got a nice little brushed aluminum look here. Please insert an SD card. Uh, it seems to be reading my SD card a little bit, and uh, sometimes it's just, I don't know, it's being a little bit wonky right now. So this ROM is far from complete. Wi-Fi does work, data calling and all that stuff. Camera does not work. It opens for a millisecond, and then it shuts right back out of it. So uh, it does need a little bit of work here. Um, Thanks should definitely go to Droid Does on Twitter, at Droid Does on Twitter and on XDA. He is the one that just kind of quickly ported over this to the Evo uh, in hopes that uh, some of the other devs on the site will be able to um, take it and tweak it and fix all the stuff that's wrong with it. So um, if you're on XDA and you're an Evo developer, it's time to get this bad boy out there and running. I did get a couple of weird random reboot things. Uh, it's not really like a real reboot. It only takes like three seconds since uh, one of the new features in Sense, or the new Sense here, is the uh, new, it's like five second boot time or, or quicker. Uh, it's kind of um, a little sneaky on what they're doing here. I'm going to show you guys right now. Uh, you do have a reboot option here or restart airplane mode. Um, you don't have all the traditional options that you had before. Uh, if I power off my phone, you'll notice that it... Um, well, you can see the screen is still kind of on. There it goes. It shuts off. Uh, normally, the shutdown process is a lot longer. What's going on here is that they are... Uh, it's kind of like putting your phone to sleep or hibernate mode. So it's going to like basically turn everything off and your phone will be like m mainly like in a sleep mode. And uh, kind of sneaky, HTC. But it, it's it's if I turn it back on, you're going to see it's going to have... What was that? Like a three-second, two-second boot time there and you're back into your phone again. Uh, if I were to reboot it would take the normal uh, 30 seconds or 25 seconds boot time that you would see normally. Uh, also, if I were to actually pop out the battery and put it back in and power back on, it would do the same thing. It would take about 30 seconds. So, um, Again, a little, a little sneaky from HTC, but I mean, I guess you can't really lie there. When you do power off, I mean, I guess your most regular uh, soccer mom or just your average user will just be powering off if they need to. And um, powering back on is as simple as <laughs> waiting two seconds, which I think is really, really neat. Um, only problem I had with that was the fact that if I need to boot into recovery, normally I power off and then I hold the power button and down, and it'll take me back into recovery. But uh, since you're not really powered off, it just powers back on and doesn't boot back into recovery. So in order for me to get into recovery, I actually have to uh, battery pull, put it back in, power back on, and hold those buttons to get into recovery. Kind of a nuisance, a little bit... Uh, annoying, but you know what? That that two second boot time is pretty pretty amazing. Uh, your data will be synced to htcsense.com, which is their new website. It's gonna um, 
basically back up your text messages, your apps, all the stuff that like pretty much goes on with your phone. And using that site, you could actually uh, not even have to touch your phone and you can forward all your calls to say um, another phone number. You can um, answer and receive text messages through your computer and stuff. So uh, Sense is definitely not going anywhere. I know there's a lot of talk about how Google was saying with uh, Android, the new gingerbread that's going to be come out, which I believe is Android 2.5, um, that they they're gonna basically overhaul and redesign the UI so that there'll be no need for any more skins like HTC Sense or TouchWiz. Blech. Um, they're gonna do such a good job with the UI that there'll be no need to put any more skins on it. But uh, HTC has kind of stepped up the game. They're no longer just a whole uh, theme or like a skin on top of Android. They're kind of taking it further to like a whole new service. And uh, with friend streams and stuff like that, and then HTCSense.com, which backs up all your data and stuff. You can remote wipe, you can back up all your data on to their site, and um, just all that stuff. So they're kind of ahead of the game. I could see Google doing something like that in the future, but um, as of right now, they're not. And Sense is kind of picking up the ball where where they've dropped it and stuff. Uh, let's see some of the new uh, apps. They do have blocked callers, which I think is kind of strange or neat. Now you can see whatever um, callers that you have blocked. Uh, Sometimes I've accidentally blocked a couple of callers, and it uh, I couldn't really figure out how to go back and unblock them. But I mean, now I know. But yeah, connected media. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Flashbook for your HTC Hub. This will take you to your HTCSense.com account. But um, since it's too early to actually open up account, you can't do it. HTC Likes. This is their. I think this is like something that they're doing with their apps, applications, or feature. Um. Again, I'm going to have to use my HTC Sense account, but I can't even sign into that yet because it's too early. Search people. Let's go through some of the widgets and see if they added anything else new. Um, wallpaper, scenes, skins, widgets. Uh, browse all HTC widgets. What does that do? Oh, it just lets you go through all of them. Oh, this is cool. So, yeah, you can literally just cycle through all of them, the different calculators. This will make it really easy to see if there's anything new. Uh, the clocks. They got some great widget clocks, uh, some of the best. Uh, FM radio widget, so gorgeous. Um, yeah, so I mean, anyone that pretty much, oh, here's HTC Likes, some of their favorite apps. Anyone that was maybe on the fence a little bit on the whole uh, sense and like having it on their phone, now with the quick boot up time, it seems to be running faster than ever. Uh, it's got these cool new effects and even the skins and stuff, I think this will kind of maybe sway a little more people that were just um, those die hard vanilla Android UI. Um, I've always been a sucker for uh, eye candy and beauty shelf, my shelf. Oh, these are the books and stuff, okay. Um, oh, they have their own news widget. Uh, yeah, I think this will actually sway some of those people over. But yeah, I've always been a sucker for just really gorgeous, good-looking UIs and stuff. Um, HTC has done a great job at optimizing it and making it run faster than ever. Oh, this is their search anyway. I was looking for that widget. A uh, little search widget there, that's kind of funny. Uh, airplane mode, auto rotate. Oh, these are the individual ones. Uh, you can do your own. Data dashboard. That's kind of cool too. Roaming, turn off roaming or data. So awesome, especially if you don't have a data plan. Uh, brightness. Those look so much nicer than the stock Android ones. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know those were there. Oh my gosh, it's like a, it's like a double rainbow. Weather. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So yeah. Um, Oh, one more thing I want to show you guys. Um, a lot of widgets have options a lot of times, so you can actually edit them. So now if you look here at the bottom, there's edit and remove. Um, switching it down to edit would actually allow you to edit the widget, or you could just remove it altogether. Uh, let's say like in this case. Nope. I'm um, not really sure which widget would actually allow you to do that. Okay, guys, got to run. Uh, yeah, that's it. This is your little preview or intro to the new HTC Sense that will should be coming to a HTC Sense phone near you. Uh, it's definitely coming to Evo. I know HTC or someone let it link or leak that that they will be bringing it to the Evo soon. So, um, yeah, HTC senses it's getting better than ever. So to all you haters, all I have to say is, my phone looks a lot prettier than your phone. Wah.